Gracious Word Presented by Church of Christ We are happily welcoming you for the Voice of Truth International Small Devotion We have studied why we believe in God and why we believe in Christ and why we believe in the Holy Spirit and why we believe the Bible In that we studied about three different covenants number 1 patriarchal law or covenant mosaic law law of christ or the will of christ bible help us to divide between these different covenants in the old testament two different covenants new testament one law or the will of christ the next point three different major religions go under old testament covenant or the law for their faith like muslim and jews and christians next point please understand christ law is a will the next point after christ came died buried and resurrected this new law new testament is in force why lot of confusion which covenant we have to choose to live today to undergo the will of god it's very clear in the bible hebrews 9 15 to 17 and for this cause he is the mediator of the new testament that by means of death for the redemption of the transgression that were under the first testament they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance for where a testament is there must also of necessity be the death of the testator for a testament is of force after men are dead otherwise it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth it is very clearly says christ is the mediator now right now once god spoke or revealed his will to the human being through the head of the family like adam noah abraham then through the prophets through the judges then through moses now christ is the mediator if anyone would like to go to heaven he is the mediator the next point previous testaments are now replaced with christ will or the new testament read hebrews 10 1 through 10 kindly take some time and kindly go through that old testament is a shadow but new is the real one old cannot take away sins permanently but new testament washed sins permanently please understand the difference in between that the next point christ himself lived under the old testament to bring in to the world and to bring power to the new law or his will matthew 5 17 and 18 it clearly says next point paul says second corinthians in third chapter we are ministered to the new of the spirit in galatians 3 19 through 29 kindly read study and compare the differences between law of moses and the will of christ if you carefully study the word of god of heaven 
and his will today for every human being you will choose the law of christ life of spiritual way to heaven thank you for your patience we will study about why we need the salvation in our next lesson kindly send your comments on this lesson thank you dear friends holy greetings to you all in our lord's name and we welcome you all to this gracious word bible study program today we will be starting from the book of exodus one of the major event in this book of exodus uh, about moses that is mentioned in exodus chapter 3 and chapter 4 here in today's lesson we will be studying about a discussion between our almighty god and moses it will be very interesting to study this uh, lesson today uh, mentioned in exodus chapter 3 and chapter 4 you can see that god wants to use moses for his mission that is his mission of delivering the israelites from the egyptian bondage so he wants to make use of moses as a tool for that so he calls moses and he gives him the charge you have to go and deliver my people from this egyptian bondage but you can see the attitude of moses in today's lesson that is our main part he doesn't want to go and do what god expects from him he is keep on giving some excuses and our today's lesson will be on that one at least he is giving some five excuses to god and you can just to see that god is dealing to him a parent is dealing to a child i am reminded of such an incident as if a loving mother or father is convincing a little uh, tiny uh, boy or girl to have uh, his or her food who doesn't want to take a food so in such a manner god is dealing to moses in this chapter 3 and 4 let's study some lessons from these excuses the first one what moses gave is i mentioned in Exodus chapter 3 verse 11 but Moses said to God who am i that i should go to pharaoh and that i should bring the children of israel out of egypt this excuse of moses shows us that he is frightened and because of that he is asking who am i i am a mean fellow i am nothing i am no one in front of this king pharaoh and how can i go and uh, ask him to leave the israelite people this is the Uh, meaning of this question or excuse what moses gave who am i that i should go to pharaoh and i should bring the children of israel out of egypt but you can see that the next verse god is uh, giving him some encouragement by saying i'll be with you this is a greatest encouragement to anyone that god is with us in each and every circumstances in each and every challenging situation hard situation a children of god can be assured that god is with us let's read also romans chapter 8 verse 31 what then shall we say to these things if god is for us who can be against us dear friends if god is for us who can be against us at the initial stage moses did not know this thing he he did not know that god is always with me he not only gives me charge to go and relieve the israelites from the egyptian bondage but he is going to be with me always so god is assuring moses that i'll be with you you don't worry so moses got the proper answer for the first excuse what he gave to god the second excuse what moses gave to god is mentioned in chapter 3 verse 13 to 15 let's read then moses said to god indeed when i come to the children of israel and say to them the god of your fathers has sent me to you and they say to me what is his name what shall i say to them and god said to moses i am whom i am and he said thus you shall say to the children of israel i am has sent me to you moreover god 
said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever and this is my memorial to all generations. My dear friends, here also to the excuse of Moses, God the Almighty Father reveals his identity to Moses and asks him to go and tell like this to the children of Israel. He said, I am whom I am. And he also adds uh, to Moses that the Lord God of your fathers, that is Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, he has sent me to you. You go and tell like this. Let's also read John chapter 8 verse 58. It says like this, Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was I am. My dear friends, most people think that Jesus is a person or a God who has only 2000 years of history. And they also think that Christianity is a religion of origin is before 2000 years only. But it's biblically wrong, but it's not correct because Jesus was born in this world with a human nature 2000 years before. But his origin we cannot say because he is from the beginning. So this is the answer to Moses and to all of us also. The third one, the third excuse what Moses gave to God when he gave him the charge to go and release the Israelites people from the Egyptian bondage, he said that they will not believe me. You can read this in uh, Exodus chapter 4 verse 1. Then Moses answered and said, but suppose they will not believe me or listen to my voice. Suppose they say the Lord has not appeared to you. Still Moses is not convinced. God says I will be with you. God says, I am who I am. I am the God of your fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And he is giving all the explanation to Moses. Still Moses is not convinced or he has not got that power, that encouragement. But you see, like a father or mother dealing with a little child, a small child, here God is dealing to Moses. God is answering, what is in your hand? I am having a separate staff. Put it down. It turned to a snake. So God is trying to convince Moses or give him encouragement to do that what he is asking him to do. Romans 10, 17 it says like this. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. To each and every one of the children of God, faith or belief comes by only the word of God. So we have to keep on studying the Bible to get all the encouragement that we need for today's situation. The fourth excuse what Moses gave to God is, I am slow of speech. This we can read from chapter 4 of Exodus verses 10 and 11. Then Moses said to the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. God is saying, who has made man's mouth or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing or the blind. Have not I the Lord. Without showing his authority, without showing his anger, God is explaining him everything. You are saying you, you cannot uh, uh, speak well. Don't you know that I have made man, I have made the mouth and eyes. So you don't worry. God is saying like this. The final excuse what uh, Moses gave is Send someone else. It, it doesn't appear like an excuse, but uh, he, he says, I am not ready. In reply to this excuse, now only God he expressed his anger to Moses and he then said, do what I say like that. So this is what God replied to Moses for all the excuses he gave. On many occasions, we too give meaningless excuses to God. Let's think on this uh, Bible study and let's realize what is our ability, capability to do what has given us in charge. We will be praying for you. Write to us with your prayer points and write to us to receive some Bible study materials. May the grace of God and peace of Christ be with you all. Amen. Be blessed by studying the word of God. 
to receive the Voice of Truth International Magazine and to study the Bible systematically through our English Bible Correspondent Course. Kindly write to us. Our address, Gracious Word, P.O. Box 15, Arsradi Madurai, 625016, Tamil Nadu. For more details, dial 9244204420. 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you Joy Creative Production For video coverage and editing audio recording and editing promo for advertisement graphic design contact 9042494996